is a magnificent country, stretching across the vast expanse of land and attracting tourists from all corners of the world, far into the wilderness of its forests, where snow blankets the earth with its pristine white cloak, and the wind whispers ancient legends, something incredible was discovered. It's a mystery that will make you ponder the nature of reality and possibly shatter everything you knew about our world. This is Top Facts Black, and these are amazing discoveries in Canada that are hard to believe. Enjoy watching. The Two Arcs is a project to create an emergency bunker in Canada, which was constructed from 42 school buses filled with concrete and buried under four meters of earth. This bunker can accommodate up to 350 people and is equipped with all necessary survival systems, including a generator, telephone communication, sewage, and medical equipment. An engineer named Bruce Beach spent over 20 years creating this bunker and invested all his savings into it. He created comfortable sleeping, relaxation, and children's play areas to provide people with comfortable conditions in case of catastrophic events. Furthermore, Bruce Beach continues to maintain all installed systems and upgrade equipment to be prepared for any possible emergency in the future. Among us, ordinary people, encounters with something mysterious, unexplainable and incredible often occur. One such case happened in Canada when an ordinary guy captured an unbelievable creature that made his heart skip a beat. Canada's forests are known to be rich in various inhabitants, but what he found was entirely different. An incredible creature resembling something from another world seemed to be staring at him right from the photograph. Some people believe that such things can only happen in movies, but that's not the case. Is it a monkey that ran out onto the road from the depths of the forest, or is it a creature from another galaxy accidentally appearing in our reality? Opinions vary, but one thing we know for sure is that this unusual and magical creature has captured the hearts of many mystery and paranormal enthusiasts. Each of us has probably visited a fast food restaurant like McDonald's because they are popular and available almost everywhere. For people, this restaurant is associated with fast, affordable, and delicious food. But who would have thought that there is a McDonald's on the water? This unusual restaurant was built at an exhibition in Vancouver and had a stylish interior with employees dressed in maritime uniforms. The place was very popular during the exhibition and it was planned for the floating restaurant to continue operating after its conclusion. However, for unknown reasons, this never happened. McDonald's on the water stood on the waterfront for several years and was then moved to a less populated part of the city. Since then, it has stood abandoned and rusted, forgotten for several decades. Smoking mountains may sound unusual and even mysterious, but it's a quite common phenomenon in Canada. The smoke rising from the mountains resembles a campfire, creating an extraordinary atmosphere. This phenomenon is called spontaneous combustion of lignite or legni. The reason for this lies in the fact that these mountains contain large deposits of lignite, rich in sulfur, and can spontaneously ignite as soon as mineral veins and hills are exposed to air. It's crucial not to touch these rocks because they can easily burn even solid objects. Scientists believe that the smoking hills in Canada have been burning for centuries and will continue to burn for many more years. This phenomenon creates an impression of some mysterious and eternal life of the mountains, attracting people's attention, arousing their interest and admiration. The next discovery occurred in 2011. A group of miners in the province of Alberta found something amazing, the mummified body of a dinosaur. It was a specimen of a small dinosaur that lived approximately 110 million years ago. When the miners found the body, they immediately realized that it was an extraordinary find. They were amazed at how well preserved the dinosaur's body was. It was entirely preserved because it was covered by a layer of mud and a mixture that preserved the tissues of the body in good condition. The miners immediately reported this to their superiors who made the decision to hand the discovery over to scientists. To this day, extensive research is being conducted to learn more about the life of dinosaurs and their evolution. Meet Klitsuk, a lake that stands out from the crowd with its unique appearance. Spotted and mysterious, it is located near the city of Osui in Canada. Local Native Americans call it this due to its unique appearance, where each spot is painted in different colors. From green to gray and brown, this place is worth seeing with your own eyes. 
However, the lake only appears for a few months a year and is fed by underground waters and melting snow. In the summer, when the air becomes dry and hot, the water evaporates and forms small islands of various colors on the surface of the lake, depending on the mineral content in the water. Alas, there are no underwater inhabitants in Klitsuk, but there are some microorganisms, which is also very interesting. Many compare this place to ancient lakes on Mars, and it really is. Far from the hustle and bustle of the city, in the midst of the snow-covered forests of Canada, lies an obscure ice hotel. It was discovered accidentally by travelers wandering through snowy paths, seeking shelter from the piercing wind. As they approached the frozen building, they were overwhelmed with an indescribable feeling of ecstasy and awe. The hotel, built from snow, seemed to have grown right out of the ground, and every detail in its architecture testifies to the unique craftsmanship. The sparkle of ice and snow covering the walls and ceilings creates the feeling of being in a fairy tale castle. Inside the hotel are ice sculptures, executed with amazing precision and attention to detail. And every evening, as the sun sets over the horizon, the icy corridors are filled with a soft glow studded with stars. The next equally amazing discovery of our journey is the celestial spectacle known as the Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights. Deep in the Canadian wilderness, where the night sky is unclouded by the distorting light of cities, one can witness this magical dance of light. Green, blue, and violet waves slowly move across the sky, reminding us of the incomprehensible beauty of nature and space. The dazzling spectacle of the Northern Lights captivates the imagination and delights with its enchanting beauty. The secrets of this natural phenomenon are not yet fully uncovered, and watching the Aurora Borealis is an opportunity to glimpse one of the most mysterious wonders of the world. Who would have thought that on such a distant outskirts of civilization, one could encounter such an amazing phenomenon, as if descended from the paintings of fantasy artists? The next amazing discovery is the Canadian frozen frogs that can resurrect after freezing. These unique animals live in the cold regions of Canada where temperatures can drop to extremely low levels. During the winter, the frogs freeze and their hearts stop beating. But as soon as spring comes, they come back to life and their hearts start beating again. This is a true miracle of nature, demonstrating the incredible survivability and adaptability of living creatures. In further research, scientists have established that the unique ability of Canadian frogs to revive after freezing is related to their physiology. During the freezing process, a special antifreeze forms in the frog cells, preventing cell destruction and allowing the frogs to come back to life after thawing. The mystery of our journey is the mysterious white berry known as doll's eyes. These rare and little known berries grow only in certain corners of Canada where they are hidden among lush vegetation. Their name comes from their unique appearance. White berries with bright blue veins resemble the eyes of antique dolls. Doll's eyes are not only beautiful, but also beneficial. People who have tasted these berries claim that they have healing properties and can strengthen the immune system. However, the secrets of doll's eyes are still not fully uncovered, and many scientists continue to study their properties to understand how such unique flora could survive and develop in the harsh conditions of the Canadian wilderness. Traveling through the expanses of Canada, you may encounter the mysterious forest of signposts, at first glance, it looks like an ordinary forest, but upon closer inspection, you will notice hundreds, if not thousands, of signposts tied to trees. Each signpost contains an arrow and an inscription indicating a particular attraction, city, or even a private estate. No one knows exactly who placed all these signposts, but they have turned the forest into a kind of open-air museum. Many travelers come here to contribute to the creation of this unique work of art, adding their signposts and expanding the boundaries of the forest. Another amazing discovery is a prison for polar bears, located in northern Canada. This unusual place was created for the temporary containment of bears that pose a threat to the local population or were found near populated areas. The purpose of this facility is to ensure the safety of residents and preserve the lives of the bears. Polar bears are placed in special enclosures where they are studied by researchers and veterinarians. After a certain period, when the bears adapt to the wild, 
they are released back into their natural habitat. This process helps maintain balance in nature and reduces conflicts between humans and wildlife. The lion's yawn is a remarkable plant that is rarely found in nature, but was once discovered in Canada. This plant species captivates with its bright and unique appearance. The lion's yawn flowers have velvety petals and a bright orange color with dark spots resembling a yawning lion. The seed pods of this plant, which form after flowering, exhibit a fascinating and interesting phenomenon. They bend and twist, creating unique shapes and patterns. Their unusual form and ability to stand out among other plants make them a true work of natural art. In April 2014, residents of a small Canadian town were shocked by the discovery of a massive blue whale carcass washed ashore. The blue whale is the largest creature on Earth and its habitat is usually confined to open oceans. Therefore, this discovery became a sensational event for the local residents and the world at large. The whale carcass measured over 25 meters in length and weighed close to 100 tons. Scientists and rescuers quickly arrived at the scene to study the reasons for the death of this giant mammal and ensure the safety of the local population. After thorough investigation, it was determined that the whale likely perished due to a collision with a vessel or entanglement in fishing nets. Subsequently, the whale carcass was carefully dissected and disposed of, while its bones were preserved for research and possible use in scientific and educational purposes. Unusual methane bubbles erupting from the depths of Abraham Lake have been discovered. Why is this important? Because methane is a gas that poses one of the main threats to global warming and climate change. Due to environmental changes and rising air temperatures, methane, which was once frozen in ice and soil, is now being released into the atmosphere. Seeing methane bubbles in Abraham Lake reminds us that our planet is changing and we must do everything possible to prevent even more serious consequences. The sunken ship on Cove Island in Canada became a sensation among researchers and enthusiasts of maritime mysteries. It was discovered by local divers when they decided to explore the ocean floor in this area. The ship, which preliminary data suggests dates back to the 18th century, was a mysteriously sunken vessel with no mentions in historical documents. The discovery of the ship has been a significant breakthrough and now scientists are trying to piece together its history and uncover the secrets it holds within its depths. In the province of Alberta, Canada, archaeologists made a unique discovery, one of the most complete and well-preserved dinosaur skeletons dating back approximately 76 million years. It was found by chance during excavation work. The skeleton belongs to one of the species of carnivorous dinosaurs and consists of more than 90% of all the bones, allowing scientists to reconstruct the image of this ancient giant with incredible accuracy. This discovery sheds light on many aspects of dinosaur life and contributes to the field of paleontology. A Canadian fisherman made a unique discovery, a 10 meter long sturgeon caught during a fishing expedition. This gigantic sturgeon sparked immense interest among scientists and conservationists as its size far exceeded the typical parameters of sturgeons. The fisherman who caught this giant decided to release it back into the water after taking a few photographs to share his amazing find with the world. In Canada, Miners accidentally unearthed the remains of a 60 year old wolf puppy in exceptional preservation. Scientists conducted a series of studies and analyses which revealed that the puppy belongs to an ancient wolf species that went extinct many thousands of years ago. Studying this discovery provided new insights into the diet, lifestyle and habitats of ancient wolves, as well as made a significant contribution to the understanding of the evolutionary history of modern wolf species. In a remote part of British Columbia, there is a place called Sarlacc Pit, a giant crater that is a natural phenomenon. This geological feature was formed thousands of years ago due to erosion and tectonic movement. Sarlacc Pit has a depth of over 100 meters and a diameter of about 300 meters. Local residents consider this pit a sacred place and believe it possesses magical properties. Sarlacc Pit attracts tourists from around the world with its unique shape and mystical atmosphere. An abandoned sanatorium in Canada was once a place of rest and treatment for many people, but now stands deserted and forgotten. 
The sanatorium building was constructed in the early 20th century and is an example of architecture from that time. Inside the building, you can find antique furniture and household items that tell the story of people's lives in the past. Over time, nature began to reclaim its rights, and the sanatorium building gradually becomes part of the surrounding forest. This place attracts enthusiasts of mysticism, as well as those seeking inspiration in historic architecture and the atmosphere of the past. In the Quebec Desert in Canada, a collection of mysterious stone structures was discovered, the origin of which is shrouded in mystery. These ancient structures were found by a group of adventurers who were exploring the region in search of adventure. Scientists and historians are still trying to determine who built these structures and for what purpose. They may have been used as ritual sites or observation points by ancient tribes. However, many believe that they may be connected to a highly developed civilization that we have yet to learn about. In Canada, there is an amazing geological formation known as the Red Rock. It is composed of sandstone and iron oxide, giving it a bright red color. This geological phenomenon attracts the attention of scientists and tourists from around the world who are eager to uncover the mystery of its origin. Some scientists believe that red rock may have formed through natural processes such as erosion and oxidation, while others speculate that it may be related to ancient cults or extraterrestrial intervention. In the forests of Canada, a lost plane from 1945 during World War II was discovered. This forgotten piece of history was found by a group of tourists who got lost in the wilderness. The plane turned out to be in remarkably good condition, allowing researchers to reconstruct its history and learn about the fate of the crew. The discovery has become the subject of numerous studies and documentary films that depict the harsh realities of wartime and the value of preserving the memory of those times. The city of Franken, Canada became the site of a tragic disaster in the early 20th century when a mountain above the city collapsed, causing a massive landslide that crushed a large part of the settlement. Thousands of residents were buried under tons of soil and rocks, and the destroyed city became a symbol of the power and unpredictability of natural disasters. Since then, Frank has been known as the Crushed City and attracts the attention of historians, geologists, and tourists who want to learn about this tragic history. Local authorities and volunteers carefully preserve the historical memory of the event by organizing tours and lectures that recount the life of Frank's residents before and after the catastrophe. The remnants of the destroyed buildings and structures serve as a reminder of the consequences of nature's fury and the importance of caring for our planet and the environment. So these were incredible discoveries in Canada that are hard to believe. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to see something similar, please leave comments like subscribe to the Top Facts Black channel and right now check out one of the previous episodes that are available on your screen.